And welcome back to another installment of The Young and the Wash. You can check us out on Spotify, YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, and anywhere you can get podcasts. I am the Husky Hustler, Fat Face Fabio, a.k.a. Ooh, girl, he still looks cute with the mask off. And with me, as oh. always, is... Wow, that was, I just want to let you know, I want to stop that re- introduction. That was fantastic. Thank I like that one. And of course, it's your boy, Trey. Sea biscuit with the baddest eyebrows in the game, and we got the man behind the producer Jay Palay making every three from the top of the key with the best hair in the game. The heartbreaking Hebrew himself. Mm. And boys, can we can we make a little noise right now for the first guest in Young and Watch history, Mister Motherfucking Corn Stars himself, Corn Stars, my Thompa from Setis, <laughs> <laughs> EBA All Star Legend. Facts. You know what Facts. I mean? Facts. 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 CIF winning tackle. Oh, yeah. Also forget. facts. Puts also a, a facts. mean yeah, left head. Luis, let's go. Let's go. Chicon is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank as you. you can see, he's been gracious enough to bring us our food. Fire. You know. And we're gonna get jump. We're gonna jump right into this bitch like how we always do. Mm-hmm. But you know, with the guests, we're gonna. Josh is actually gonna read off the quick hitters today. And you know, we're gonna jump right into Luis. Feel free to participate at any moment. So uh, let's get right into it. Yeah, so uh, since Luis is here and he's a Raider fan, we're going to do it right. Can the Raiders Whoa. win with Derek Carr as their quarterback? All right, so everyone always asks me, my best friends um, always ask me, do you trust Derek Carr? And Derek Carr just reminds me of that dude like Paul George. Oh. Where he needs to have someone. And Derek Carr needs to have a great offensive line first mm-hmm. off. If yeah. he doesn't, the season's over. Mm-hmm. Right now we have backup tackles, so I don't know how it's going to go against the Denver Broncos. Um, but like I said, he's always had weapons. When he has, he produces. When he had Crabtree, Amari Cooper, we had a great offensive line. I think they're ranked like number two at the mm-hmm. time behind the. They were they were I think nasty. They were right behind the Cowboys offensive line. Yeah, word yeah. to Donald Penn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and after that, um, we lost everyone. And then, you know, the season went to shit. Derek Carr just kept getting hurt. Couldn't complete anything. Now look at how stacked we are. Great offensive line, good running back, good receivers. Roll Tide. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. Yeah, Henry Ruggs, <laughs> Ruggs. So, uh, yeah, man, I mean, like I said, I don't know. I've never seen him play in the playoffs. We did. We got crushed by the Texans. We did have Yeah, Connor that was Cook. sad. Michigan State. Oh. Michigan State. Derek Carr went off that year. We he got did. Hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, no, an he was MVP. MVP. He was an MVP discussion. Yeah. They were supposed to have Mike Glennon, and he gets hurt like the second to last game of the season, and they end up having to start Connor Cook. So pretty much it's up for grabs in it's a sense. Grabs, it's up yeah. for grabs. If he has talent, the, yeah. there's a possibility, but and, no talent, it ain't happening. And again, like, yeah. living in San Diego and being a Ra- uh, Raider fan, it's uh. just been like torture for the past 20 plus years. Woo! Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Base Panaligan always talks shit. Uh. <laughs> so, that I man's a, he's a Clippers fan. We, I know he's, he's been gone, stupid. and I know he's a bandwagon. I thought he's a Steelers fan team, now. So you know, no free shout no, outs. I think I guess. he's a Steelers fan. Uh, no. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll see this year. Yeah. But again, I can't talk no shit until the season's over. So I think the expanded playoff idea. Cause, you know, if dudes keep missing games, they're gonna add yeah. another team because they've already added another team. It's seven yeah. this year. If they have the eighth team. For whatever reason, I think the Raiders are in no question. I think you can go. I, there's going to be two nine and seven teams this year in the playoffs. I think you guys have a good chance this year, uh, just because you guys are winning the tight ball games. That's yeah. what I, that's what I think the difference is. I mean, that's yeah. just the whole NFL. But yeah, and as it was very heartbreaking. All I wanted to do was sweep the Raiders this year, and my Chargers season would have been fine. Oh, and you're still a Chargers. I'm, I have not left. Oh, I have that's not left. Shirt, yeah, bro. you're telling me. You're telling me. Yeah. He yeah. didn't. He didn't. He didn't stop at a goodwill on the way here. He chose to wear this oh, shirt. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. Didn't yeah, yeah. Dairy. Hey, this, hey, this, is, this, this is me. This he is me. Didn't, he, he didn't spill that. That's yeah. me. Oh, okay. He didn't so, spill a Dairy Queen I'm blizzard on his shirt. Okay. <laughs> so, second question: Who was your celebrity crush growing up? Ooh, damn! And I'm like making good. No, I, t- I was. No. De- Nah, no, cause that? like, <laughs> no, cause like when I think growing up, I think like little, like like you know between like mm-hmm. nine mm-hmm. to thirteen. Um, <sighs> this is hard. I'm thinking Jessica Biel. I'm thinking Jessica Ooh, Biel. that's a great one. Too. Good gosh. Yeah, I, I watched. Gosh, I just watched Seven nice. Heaven with the sound. <laughs> this guy, yeah. nice. I just watched Seven Heaven with the sound off. You know what I mean? Like hey. one of them type of dudes. Wow, but, that's a good uh, one. Yeah, I think Jessica Biel. Oh, and Amanda Bynes. Yeah, yeah. really, she was funny. And I like crazy bitches. <laughs> I love I'm it. Always, I love bro, she was bro, bro, bro. Amanda Bynes? She was bad. You were hella young and washed, bro. Like Amanda Bynes? Bro, think, all right, but here, here's my thing. Yeah. I thought you're all mad. No, She's no, no, crazy, no, 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 no,
It was a new bitch. It was like dating twelve bitches because she had multiple, like she had multiple, multiple personalities. personalities. And this she had bread. Logic. She had bread. Man, imagine walking through Plasma Nita in two thousand seven with Amanda Bynes. Anything I want from Zoomies is mine. Yeah. Like, she fits the perfect criteria. She had a good credit score and low self esteem. Perfect. Bro, That's exactly, exactly all you need. I'm here to boost that. And back then, Zoomies had your size. Now I don't uh, know. <laughs> I don't know. We yes. were the same size. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I well, like hey, the energy. Well, hey, 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 watch <laughs> community. Your boy's down 30 since August. Yeah. Watch oh, out. Let's go. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 That's good. What's Louis up? acting like that jacket wouldn't fit me the same exact way. Yeah. Both look like laundry in a pillowcase. Yeah, it would actually fit uh, bigger on, though. Oh. I'd attest to that. <laughs> what's up? What's the next question? You have All right, Trav? Trav, I got you. Please. If you're the Lakers, do you have any interest in Russell Westbrook or DeMar DeRozan? Definitely DeMar DeRozan. I, I, really? I, I saw that. Yeah, I, I saw it. Not so much Westbrook because I think he need, he needs the ball in his hands uh, too much. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit too much for the for the Lakers to actually succeed and like championship wise succeed because now that's the only bar that there is. Mm-hmm. So um, I really think that if Demar Derozan came over, gave him some uh, a nice person who can get their own bucket, you know, whether it's the post game, uh, he has a great mid range shot. He I think he can shoot the three above thirty five percent with with how open he's going to have shots with AD and LeBron. I definitely would want Derozan in this trade. Now the thing is. What are you going to give up for him? It, Danny it, Green and Kyle Kuzma is what they say. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I, I think that would be the best fit for the Lakers mm-hmm. moving forward only because he is a better Kyle Kuzma. Yeah, he is I agree Kyle with that. Kyle Kuzma piece that, I mean, Kyle Kuzma needs to be that guy who's taking 30 shots a game. Yes. Because he 30 needs, shots a game? Uh, 25, 30 shots. Remember when he was with Brandon Ingram and that whole yeah, young yeah, squad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was getting off. How many yeah. shots was he taking? A lot. He like, taking, he was a number one. He was taking Brandon Ingram shots. That's yeah. why Brandon Ingram just didn't grow as yeah. a Laker. Yeah. And typically, Lakers, when we yeah. draft players, we trade them just to get I can see, yeah. If DeMar DeRozan comes over and shoots 22 to 24 shots a game, and yeah. then Braun's maybe at, like, you know, a, a solid a solid 10 for, I mean, 10 for, 10 for yeah. 16, 9 for 16, yeah. I think he can just lead the, lead, yeah. lead the league in assist again. Yeah. That's and, all he has to do. But trading Danny Green, I think it'll devalue the trade just because how trash he is. Mm. Because I don't think <laughs> we can get he anything. I, we can't get anything back for Danny Green. Yeah. Not even salary, not even money, nothing. Yeah. But you know what, though? Pop, Popovich will take him because he's a locker room guy and he's been with the He'll be a future before. coach assistant. Yeah. yeah. I can see that. Duncan yeah. left, yeah. Okay. yeah. Luis, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Mmm. <sighs> Honestly, I have to say mac and cheese has to be top. Yes. Nobody says mac and ma- cheese. Ma- bro. Mac, Thank and you. Che- mac and cheese has you. to be up there. And uh, low key, the sneaky one that I think people never make right is mashed potatoes. For some wow. reason, just don't, don't hit me with gravy. that powder shit on, on yeah, family no, parties. No, no, no. It has That's to be like real one, homemade one. boiled, yeah. like mashed with ham. Ooh. You know, you smell the This man butter. knows his food. Hey, yeah, let's go. Yeah. Cookie knows, hey, knows, yeah. knows what's let's the deal. Let's go. If, deal. I, if I see you in the Vons aisle looking at packets of gravy, I do not trust you I, at all. Ooh. Wow. Like we, that hey, bring that to the next subject. Bring that energy to the next uh, next subject. I, I like it. I'll go with stuffing. Stuffing? Stuffing is my favorite. I heard you like Travis stuff. is a communist. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's true. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm definitely. All right. Uh, wait, wait, you just call me a communist? Whatever. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Oh. Okay. Uh, I know you probably don't even put gravy on your stuffing. You eat that shit that's, dry. You, you you don't know me at all. If that's the case, good God, what the I, hell's I'm wrong cool with you? With that. Um, dry stuff. No, yeah, I would never. Dry I would never. That's you, this guy you, is speaking you know absolute those styrofoam blasphemy. Popcorns. That's like with dry stuffing. No, this was that dude in high school that would eat the pizza. Be like, damn, she was delicious, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I do have a thing where I love Travis food as long as it's not as long as I didn't make it. I think it's good. Yeah. But no, I don't eat my stuffing uh, dry. Def- for delicious definitely for for the listeners for our our melanin defected listeners. Let's make this clear in black. And brown households, the turkey is the least important factor of Thanksgiving. One hundred and ten percent. Yeah, Thanks. like my dad deep fries it, still least important, but by far, ham. It's no all question. side dishes. I think I love ham. Important okay. for Thanksgiving. I think side I, dishes. Yeah, I, I like. Ha- I love ham though. That's my shit. Like yeah. I could, because that's the one you can like. I can do shit with later. I can make a ham sandwich. Yeah. I can put it in my raw. <laughs> yeah. like, I get on my real, like, real chunky boy season. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, so this one's for you, bud. Is <laughs> Philip Rivers a Hall of Famer? Ooh, here we go. No, why? Because Matt Ryan isn't, and they're both tra- and they're the same person. And we've had this conversation. Matt Ryan is still Rivers with a cool name. And yeah, we've had <laughs> said that. Before. Yeah, and it's the same. They're the same. They show up sometimes, okay. and their turnovers are always the most costly, costly for their team. Yeah. They'll do everything to get you there, and then fuck you later. And then it's kind of hard to blame them because they've done everything to get yeah. you there. But it's like the one time they could have chilled. Just post up like Phil Rivers. I saw versus Tennessee in like 2014 run out of bounds, right foot or left foot, literally two inches above the grass, chucks the ball 20 yards down the sideline for a pick. 
And I was like, bro, your foot was this close to just being out of bounds. Just take the L. Throw the ball yeah. out of bounds. He's always for like you ever seen that kid during arts and crafts who's clearly doing too much? Like, oh, you're making the gingerbread house and he tries to put like a rocket ship on the back of like paper mache. <laughs> that is Philip Rivers. What about you, Trav? You're a Charger fan? Is Philip Rivers a Hall of Famer? I think they're I think Matty Ice and uh, Rivers will both be Hall of Famers. They just won't be first or second ballots. I don't think you can ignore the fact that Philip Rivers all time is one of the best. Yeah, they're, 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 and that's the reason yeah. why they will make that's it. That's why he'll make yeah, it. Yeah, that's why he'll make it. Yeah, exactly. I, I just don't, yeah. So what I think is, do you guys believe Joe Flacco is a Hall of Famer only because of that one Super Bowl? He has good numbers too okay, on the low. So Joe Flacco's numbers aren't horrible Matt for when Ryan. he was starting. But I, Matt I Ryan think. And- didn't Matt Ryan and Joe Flacco come in the same year? Yeah. And they that tore was, it up their first year. I think together? I think Joe Flacco, for me personally, I don't think he's a I don't think he's a Hall of Famer. I think the reason why people put him in that conversation because he has the yeah. one ring, but I don't think he has nearly this the all time stats but of what Rivers has. So Rivers does have a pretty stacked team this year. They have a pretty good oh, defense. Oh, with the, with Indy? Uh, yeah, trust with me. The, I, yeah. I, I, yeah, they're he's doing been okay. doing he's everything doing, in his yeah. power to fuck it up. Yeah. yeah, I know he has. <laughs> yeah. So okay, Luis, if you could go back in time. And change one decision you made, what would it be? I'm gonna assume it's quitting basketball in high school. I think it wow. was. I think that was. He got off in basketball. I, I think that was a big thing. I think it was more of just I just didn't like the coach at the time. Uh. So it was just one of those decisions as a young kid. Like I just don't like the coach, so I'm just not gonna. Play. Yeah, bad um, vibes. Bad vibes. Not play basketball. Bad vibes. Yeah, exactly. And uh, at the time, like I was, uh, I was actually losing weight, and then people were telling me like I could play tight end and and. Uh, varsity yeah so i was like oh i might as well just try out for football mm-hmm. uh tried out for the basketball team because uh, our coach told me to and i actually fractured uh, my leg oh, wow. during, yeah. the, during the practice mm-hmm. and then from there just I went downhill so. you were on my eba team yeah. i remember that i used to body kids <laughs> I, I was the layup king just running up and down and if you needed some uh, a bucket in the half court just yeah. give the ball to him he's gonna body some little guy he's doing oh. a, he was bodying the spin move already back when i was like, like kevin love back in the yeah day. dude hey, that, hey, hey, that's right. a great that's a great one dude. That's straight great. boards assist um low Low points, but I would, uh, yeah, it would. I get the job. How does it know you were the last person Travis passed the ball to? <laughs> what were you the one that passed me the ball? No, what? like in the history of Travis ever passing someone the ball, you're the in EBA, it was the last time he ever passed someone the ball. Damn, hey, that was nice. <laughs> I didn't have to pass. Well, you had to be you the only one touching the ball. <laughs> Actually, I think Travis hit that like light skin phase where he knew, like. You know, this is gonna get me far, so I just can't pass the ball and wow. be an I guy. And then you know, wow, he was hitting like almost six feet at that time. Like he was like, oh, yeah, I'm no, just gonna- I, this guy, these people, this this blasphemy out here. <laughs> Travis, to the next question, Travis touched the bottom of the backboard and never looked back. Yeah, fact. Hey, yeah. honestly, the layup lines I, 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 touching the bottom. Hey, of I went the backboard. from slapping backboards in seventh yeah. grade to dunking in eighth grade. It was a huge trend. Like whoosh, it was, just, it was, just, yeah. It was you were stuff. dunking in middle school, huh? Like I high could. school, yeah, yeah, in uh, eighth yeah. grade. Just never translated, right? To it, no, this <laughs> guy. <laughs> Hi, Jesus. You're telling hey, me. Hey, you're welcome to come back here. Yeah, <laughs> All right, so for next season, who's a bigger threat for the championship, the Warriors or the Bucks? The Warriors, because they have um, – yeah. they're not going to have an Stop overhaul playing. of talent. I think they have a better locker room. I do like some of the veterans on the Bucks, so like, I'm a big Wesley Matthews guy. I mm-hmm. Kyle Korver, you know, yes. and stuff like that. But I feel like – it's a lot. Depending on who gets drafted, I think it'll be foolish if the Bucks don't try to move some pieces or move up in the draft for somebody. Ooh. But um, I think, especially because the Warriors are probably going to end up with a young guy or they're going to trade away their pick. It's yeah. hard to walk into that locker room with Steve Kerr, who's got what three bombs, three. I think you so. Get, the Warriors have three. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's hard to walk in that walk in that locker room and not listen to them. This isn't like no offense, but like this isn't like going into locker room listening to Chris Paul. Like, who's a great accolade singly, but, like, he's never led a team past the Western Conference Finals. And that was one time he only played, like, four of the games he was hurt for two. So, like, I just think the Warriors are going to outcoach people. And for the most part, they're going to outperform. That learning yeah. curve of adding someone new won't matter as much because their nucleus is true. Even though they're probably the third best team in the West and the Bucks are the best team in the East? Who? Arguably. Argue, arguably, but I think the Warriors, uh, to, to go off of that, because I do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out, please. Time out. Hmm. Who, besides the Lakers, who are we saying are better than the Warriors in the West? Probably, Probably the Clippers. stays than Clippers, I would say. Them niggas ain't got up the second round. Warriors going to make the playoffs. They got well, one we year we know, when we everybody know was hurt. Hey, we don't know what they're going to be. 
That's a valid me, question. Okay, the, the Warriors will be better. Why I get annoyed on the, the, war, show. the Warriors are better, uh, and I think they will be better just because let's not forget what they did even without KD. I understand. You know, they went seventy three and nine without him. I know they had a deeper. So you bench. think the Warriors are better than the Clippers? Yes, I do. Yeah, Hel- healthy. Yes, and if they have, and if they get the those? first pick, if they get the first pick of the draft, and they get that first. dude from from Memphis, that seven footer who knows how to ball. Yeah. Oh my God! It's I mean, at that point, the man can run, and they're gonna have defense and r- run the gun and shoot. It's gonna be it's gonna be nuts. And which aspect are the Clippers better than the Warriors? It's they're, not coaching. I would say their two best players are better than the Warriors' two best players of Steph Curry. The, that's the, arguable. Yeah, I don't know how oh, that's arguable. Yeah. But defensively as well, I think. Yeah, defensively. defensively. O- obviously, defensively. Yeah. Too. See, we say that, but the one thing I always bring up is this. If you look at the Warriors' defensive numbers, like throughout like that run before yeah. they got hurt, they're good. Oh, they're good. They're, 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 good. Really they're a good defensive good. team. Warriors yeah. got no bench too, by the way. Yeah, right no, now they, they, they don't. Yeah, right no now bench, they but don't. Hey, but here's the thing, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's going back to the locker room thing. It's going to be easier to convince guys to come there for less money. Because, like, here's the thing. All they got to do is get Andrew Wiggins to average 14 points. Oh my god, off I the forgot bench. they have Andrew. Wiggins. He just got to do Damn. it off the bench, bro. And here's the thing. Kind of back to the uh, Kyle Kuzma playing freely thing. Like when he had all those opportunities. When Andrew Wiggins comes off the bench for the Warriors, if they can, are they able to find a starter to like replace him? He's gonna be to play free he's not gonna play as the number one pick it's not gonna be like it's gonna be hey bro go out there and do your best b minus cj mccollum impression that's all he has to do <laughs> i feel it all right trav mm-hmm. how many jack-in-the-box tacos could you throw down throw down Ooh, i'd have to be in the right mindset i had to get i had the perfect su- some su- supplements yeah some supplements needed to be added but um let's put a number on it what you got can you do 40 by myself yeah. in one sitting? Yes. Oh my god! No, be. what the forty? That's crazy. I'm thinking like twelve. Like you know, I'm thinking like like Jack of the Box tacos. You only eat twelve? I think so. I just ate fifteen um, Taco Bell. Yeah, I saw that. Tacos. That's crazy. I almost I almost thought about like doing way harder. Uh, you think so? Hey. Yeah, they're flour tortillas. Yeah, yeah. yeah hey, I, like, hey. I like those though. We're they're doing that next for me. I don't like I the crunch. I cannot like... trust none of you after saying this right now. What Taco Bell and Jack in the Box tacos? It's just we're just talking about the we're talking about like. We're talking about being pieces of shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, like I'm not gonna like, go out of Are you, are you talking about like after after a turn up at a beer pong game? Like you're all yeah, turned up. You're this, gonna go to did, Jack in the Box. At this time, it was after high school. So you didn't have enough money. So yeah, you're like let's just go to Jack in the Box and tear down some. There tacos. was one time yeah. we used. There were. <laughs> all right, there, all right. There there was, make, that makes more sense. There was okay. one time we got in a, in a group of friends and whatever. <laughs> we're hanging out and and we decided let's go get forty dollars worth of Jack in the Box tacos. We got we got eighty tacos from Jack in the Box. I crushed twelve of them. And then we end up having like thirty something left over, but like yeah, like we went out and got eighty Jack in the Box tacos. I, I you know what? I'll go fourteen. I'll just go fourteen. What about you, Zoe? Yeah. Well, my guess was fourteen, but I'm never gonna let Travis win in my head. So sixteen. What about you, Luis? But, dude, I'm you I'm 20, just bro. I'm just dang. He said, he said twenty. <laughs> Big season. I, I could 20. do twenty, and I can't eat as much. You think as you eat twenty? You guys could do twenty two. You think so? You short change yourself. Know. Maybe. Honestly, What's yeah, my time yeah. frame? Is it just like just nonstop? Like, do I get twenty minutes? You get water and you get to sit down. If you got to leave, it's over. Oh shoot! Uh, yeah. okay. I mean, you can probably eat a whole bunch then. Yeah, in I don't that know. Sense, yeah, I did a challenge with that with the Big Mac. I said doing the two for five. I did the four for ten, and I ate four Big Macs in ten minutes. Were you happy after? Or what? Hell yeah! People ask me if my stomach hurt, but yeah. yeah. All right, and uh, speaking of the food situation, we're gonna lean because we do have the originator. Oh, chubby boy season in the motherfucking chubby boy building. Season? Yeah, <laughs> talking about thick boy season. Oh, thick boy season. Thick boy season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thick boy oh, season. season. Hey, it's bro. all good, bro. Hey, he's trying to make I'm, you hey, sing. He's I'm a disciple of the church. Hey, all you yeah. niggas under two ten, she don't want you right now. Yeah. It's cold. She can't mm-hmm. rub your stomach. Don't worry. In April, she's gonna tell me I ain't shit. But for the cold months, I'm that yeah. nigga. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go into um, you know, in honor of thick boy season. You know, I hit you up earlier. I don't know like how versed you were, but we are. Uh, we're gonna give some of our. We're gonna pay homage, mm. hom- homage to the 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 original fat face Fabios. You know, the husky hustlers, if you will. You know what if I mean. You will. The insulin assassins, you know. So <laughs> that's good. Gonna, yeah, gonna, that was really good. Yeah. I just came with on the spot. I'm proud of myself. Yeah, that was good. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna pay uh, an homage to some of our favorite, like <clears throat> our favorite two thirty, two forty plus uh, athletes of all time. Okay. Me like personally, that. one of my favorites. Yourself to the, to the guy. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. when I got fat, well, I was no longer an athlete. Bang! I'm not gonna athletes. I'm not two thirty. I'm not gonna get body shamed by a man. Shots fired out I'm tonight. Not gonna get, I'm not gonna get body shamed by a man who just ate soft tacos from Taco Bell on camera. Facts. Yeah. So uh, you, yeah, I agree. Anything, <laughs> anything for the brand. But hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Clout is hell of a drug. Reel it in, boys. Um. 
Prince Fielder, no question. That's a good one. My I, guy, bro. I tell I tell Josh this like sad story. I woke up the day that Prince Fielder retired. <laughs> um, I was late for work and I checked my voicemails and I had a message saying I didn't have to come in. Hyped, made something <laughs> to eat, sat down, you know, got you know, focused on thick boy season, sat down. Yeah. And I turned on the TV and Prince Fielder is right after the next the neck injury. Uh, and uh. he had his kids with him. And it's literally the first thing I see when I like when I sit, like finally, you know, sit down, get comfortable. And I like I shed a thug tear because I was like, damn, a thug tear, bro. <laughs> just that like your eyes don't get red, nothing gets watery. Just that one, yeah. kind of like the glory tear almost, but less less uh, dramatic. But that shit hurt my whole soul because I was like, that nigga was like, I mean, it's baseball, but he was a hooper, bro. Oh it's, no, it's, that man. He be bump. moving. He be he was like a yeah. locomotive. I, they changed that catcher rule in case he got on third. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, you going to keep going? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Trev, you got one. I, I got one, um, even though, you know, I'm a, I'm a skinny individual. So, uh, one that I've always had a lot of love for is Vince Wilfork. Yeah. Uh, yeah dude, that, dude one, I yeah. love. Dude, dude, yeah, dude that tier. man is a, a, dude, is a G, a yeah. boss. I mean, when you watch him come in with the hard knocks, when he came to Houston yeah. and he came in with the overalls yeah. and it was so serious, I was like, yes. Like, that guy's just a baller. Like, I just love it. I love the energy. Bring, you see him hoop, too? Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he tries to hoop. So, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I love it. I love it. He was picking off quarterbacks, too. Just like, he just dropped Yeah, and then he be it's funny when you watch those big men run because their their tops are just so heavy yeah. and their little legs. Is <laughs> 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 exactly, it's awesome. Yeah. What, what about you as a as a so husky legend yourself? My, yeah, husky legend. Yeah, <laughs> um, by far my favorite big boy has to be Zach Randolph. Only oh, because I love it. He's on my list. Only, <laughs> only because you know he smelled musty. You, <laughs> you know he would go out and just bang just. Against anyone, it, it it could be anyone on the team. He was just going body for body. He would get just twenty point rebounds, like three, four points. He was just one of my favorites. Like that you know what just, that made me think of when you said musty, and I don't know, I can't, I can't bring up technically names of the thing anymore. But uh, thumb boy. <laughs> no, because wait, wait, say when you said musty, have you ever you smelled that man's jersey in the lock in the in the in the thing, bro? bro oh I'm my just gonna god! Say, everyone in high school smelled. Everyone. I didn't smell like that. You smelled. Hey, you smelled. know what? Hey, I have a smell. question. I have a question. I have a question. It's a two ten thing. What's are what's worse after after practice? Everyone smelling or seeing your boy wear a regular shirt underneath his V neck. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> We're rocking a hey, rocking arrow postal too. This nigga anyway. had a pro club under his V-neck. <laughs> the trap in the funk. All right, I'm gonna go double uh, back to back here. I'm North Carolina fan. Raymond Felton. Oh yes. and Sean May. Sean May, yeah. Sean May. Too Raymond much. Felton when he's on the Nuggets. Raymond though. Felton looks like all of us now. Just like going Raymond. to a regular. <laughs> <laughs> we all look like Raymond Felton right now, bro. And Raymond Felton looked like fat Ty Lawson until Ty Lawson got fat. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Actually, yeah. That's true. Yeah, good call. God, May. I, f- I don't remember May as much. I feel like I... Was it May Bob, with an Bobcats. E? Bobcats. Was it with an E? He was with a Bobcats. No, no huh? E at the end. No E at the end. Well, what about... The same guy. Honorable mention, Eddie Curry. Eddie Ooh, Curry was like Eddie Curry, almost, yeah, almost, you're right. Bro, Eddie, dude, yeah. Eddie Curry, bro, he had a heart condition. I'm like, nigga, it's because you're 375. Yeah. He was a body, though. I'm he, not even. He, he was like, what's going on? Man? Uh, I'll say this. Uh, who else was on my list? Yeah, because we just knocked off like three of my real quick. Yeah, no, oh. I, I got three of them right there. Let me mention. Okay, this was this was like a sleeper. I thought old Mark Gasol. Yes, uh, old okay. Mark yeah. Gasol. Thinking of Zebo, my man. You know what's so funny? There's like two types of niggas in the locker room. I feel like. There's like, or like two type of fat dudes. The dude who's doing too much to like, so bitches don't think he's fat. And the guy who's just like, this is me, fuck it. You know yeah. what I mean? So I feel like. That was prime Kevin Love UCLA. Yeah, right? I was going to say. Yes. I was going to say, you could also yeah, go on down. And we're back like Hook Crack, and it's only right that you rock with us. And uh, to move along, you know, we do have uh, our good friend Luis here, you know, from Let's Go Cooking. Let's Oh. Travis can't say it because his mouth is full, so you know. Yeah. Um, but you know, Luis, you know, I I know the answer to this. A lot of us probably know, but you know, we have you here. We want to know, like, um, what were some of your favorite like comfort foods, like growing up, Ooh. that made you that you either liked or maybe like a food that gave you the confidence to kind of start cooking, or that made me thick, thick boy season. Thick boy that season. got me to thick boy season. What am I saying? Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> honestly. What got me started was definitely uh, the Kraft mac and cheese boxes. Mm, Easy okay. to make. Uh, just, you know, boil some water, throw the packet of cheese, and, you know, just eat, tear down the whole box. After yeah. that, it was like quesadillas. Uh, quesadillas is like yeah, you know, staple. Yeah, yeah staple, staple, especially at night when you're hungry and you don't want to, you know, eat cereal or some shit. Just make quesadilla. After that, it was like pasta. That's when I got 
bad. It was like so I get a little serious. Yeah, it was like that's when I started, you know, getting in the weight. You know, carb loading, like, carb loading. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Uh, we we're bulking that season. Yeah, so of course <laughs> yeah, we we're bulking. So all uh, season. Yeah, off season, <laughs> off season bulking, twenty four seven. Uh, but yeah, man, it's just it was more of just my mom always going to visit my uh, grandma, so she would just be like. You know, she kind of just said, like, start making your own shit, you know. Mm-hmm. So from there, she taught me how to make, like, sandwiches. Like I said, the Kraft Mac and Cheese. And then little by little, dude, I think cooking's more just messing up and figuring out what you mm-hmm. like. A lot of people just say, like, oh, I just don't know how to cook. I mean, none of us do, you know. Like, everyone mm-hmm. starts. Yeah, somewhere. I don't know how to cook. Yeah. So it's just <laughs> kind of just messing up, figuring out, like, oh, you know, this doesn't really taste that good. So let me add something different to it. And then from there, just experiments, you know what I mean? Like, the first time I ever made wings, like, it was trash. Like, completely honest. Like, I hated it. And then from there, you just start figuring out, like, oh, okay, like, the seasonings. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, you got to let them sit and, like, you know, marinades and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So after a while, you just start figuring it out. But, yeah, man, just little by little, you just figure out what you like, what you don't fuck with. So, you anything more? With that, I, I don't. I mean, it makes me feel better about cooking. It's yeah. not about going into it because I don't. I don't. I mean, I'll just be straight up. I don't know how to cook. Like I. I mean, when I went to Durango for college, like mm. I lived off of like microwavable burritos, yeah. um, asparagus, and like baked chicken. Like yeah. I just get the chicken, put some seasoning on it, throw it in the oven, done. And at that yeah. point, I, I always say that I make food for myself that's edible for me, but yeah, exactly. not for, but not for anybody else. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. like again, like it doesn't matter if you cook for like others. Like if you mm-hmm. like it for yourself, like it's okay. Like, yeah, you don't have to impress anyone. Just just like when I moved to Mexico, my parents would like bring me uh, like Costco shit because it would just last me forever. And from mm-hmm. there, I just started cooking and I enjoyed it. But mm-hmm. I knew that if I served it to someone else, it'd be like, dude, this yeah. shit's trash. <laughs> <laughs> but to me, it's like, all right, like I can eat this. Yeah. Like, it fills me up and it's that's like, what I to go. You know yeah, that's I mean? how I thought about it. I was like, you yeah. know, like this is for me. Yeah. And so I guess for my next question to that would be like, um, so you never took like um, like uh, cooking classes or anything like that? No, I was just completely just like watching my mom cook mm-hmm. my whole life. And then from there having grandmas who love to cook as well. Mm-hmm. So just kind of just seeing them what they did, yeah. what kind of spices they do. And, and it becomes just like habit. Like you see a, a seasoning thing and you're like, oh, shit, that's the one my mom uses. Nah. So from there you start using mm-hmm. that and... Uh, I used to really like at one point just watching YouTube videos of people cook. Oh, I can't like, it, like uh, you know we were, we were talking about that not to cut you off. We were talking about that you know earlier just like weird videos. Yeah. That's one thing. Like when I was in college, uh-huh. I could what's those um ah, it's that specific stupid little thing. Uh, I forgot which ones like timing something whatever. But uh, I could watch cooking videos yeah. for hours. Yeah. Like you know, but I, I, and I can never replicate it. Yeah. But I could watch it and think that I can do yeah, it. Yeah. You know? Like I would just like watching it and be like, oh shit, like that looks really good. Yeah. And uh, you would do it and it doesn't come out the same. Yeah. And you're like, oh, shit like what are, what are, mm-hmm. like, you know what do they do special but yeah just cooking videos and then from there i would just see pictures and i just try to replicate it i like it what were um how, how do i phrase this at what age or like like at what point were you like i always think for men because we're weird like when i asked my mom <laughs> like when I, like oh go get me this from the grocery store it's never something i'm gonna cook <laughs> you know what i mean yeah at what point were you like like you like had like I didn't cook start cooking until the beginning of the pandemic and yeah. I started having like a real list and yeah. I would like you know and I was like damn I've never like I've grocery shopped for some bullshit like snacks but then I was like oh I'm putting like meals like yeah. I need like like at what point did that come across you're like oh like I'm gonna cook for myself today like I'm gonna get real groceries I'm gonna really yeah. do this and like so the first time I ever started cooking was in elementary school my mom wow. left and she left some groceries and she was like, um, you know, there's some food in the refrigerator and you make your own <laughs> shit, you know? And then from there, yeah, kinda, we know. just kind of just started throwing shit together. And like I said, the first time I ever made scrambled eggs, I threw them all in a pot and they cooked and it came out as a, like a, like a crepe, like a pancake. Yeah, like a flat, yeah. yeah. Wow. And then I was just I'm, like, why is it not scrambled? Like, why is it not scrambled? <laughs> I think we've all made that yeah, mistake Yeah, and then I was just like, damn, like, what's going on? So I tossed that, redid it, came out the same way, and I was like, this, this shit's just not coming no out. No way, no way, don't do it again. Yeah, no way, yeah. no way. I was just like, there's no way that shit's happening. That's hilarious. Twice. So from there, like I said, it was more just me being young and just like, oh, I'm going to toss this shit in there. And then this, obviously it was garbage, but that's why I started just going to the Kraft Mac and Cheese, bro. Just Kraft Mac and Cheese, quesadilla sandwiches. You can never mess that up. Yeah. yeah. So what made you want to start like a cooking channel or like a page where you're like, dude, I'm going to make this into maybe, do you want it to be your career eventually? Well, I mean, I don't know, man. Like it was just more of a, a like the lockdown, the yeah. quarantine stuff. I was just like, you know what? Let me just make something to keep me busy. Kind of just like 
you know, just do something. A hobby, fun, a know? hobby. Yeah. And I saw everyone else doing stuff like creating their own brands, clothing lines, uh, OnlyFans, all that shit. So I was like, you know, might as well just skate on the hype train. You get, know? Get, not, get your own money. Not, not an OnlyFans, only but <laughs> not only fans, hold on, hold on, like, hold on. Sidebar, sidebar. I always want to tell people the sidebar. The first time I found OnlyFans, I was watching. Um, I'd not binging with Babish on YouTube. One of the other YouTube uh, people, uh-huh. and I subscribed. The only only fans I subscribed to, and this like, and you put your card info in there? No, but here's, <laughs> no, but here's the thing. That's crazy. It wasn't, That's it wasn't, crazy. Like, I didn't know OnlyFans. This may be a year and a half ago, uh-huh. and like OnlyFans wasn't. <laughs> It wasn't like where it was yet. So yeah. like, there's a lot of regular things. Like OnlyFans is for like yeah, cooking recipes, like at home workout shit. Like it was started for that. I'm not mad at like any of the females get paid, young nigga get paid. No, I, yeah. But like, yeah, like it. But to like the point you're saying though, it's funny. But like that is how it like came into fruition. It was yeah. like, yeah, like honestly, watch this dude cook the steak because yeah. you don't want to see it on YouTube. Honestly, it was more of just uh, I saw a cooking video one time and this dude's like a pretty renowned chef I, I i could not tell you his name i don't remember ramsey no it's nah, nah. <laughs> it was someone else and he made something and i saw it and i was like this shit is garbage i don't know how he can be a Damn, like, this I chef and i was it. like i can make something way better than this yeah and uh at the time i was just like i'm just gonna do it just for fun i was actually working from home and i was just like oh, let me just start something like a cooking page and from there, I just started making meals. I just started off doing like videos, mm-hmm. like like stories, mm-hmm. and then people be like, "Oh, that shit looks yeah. good." And then I was like, "Okay, like maybe this could be like something I can do." Yeah. And then just started kept posting and posting, and it's just working out. So it's pretty cool. I mean, again, like I don't know if it's a career thing, mm-hmm. but it's just something that would be nice, like if it could yeah. turn out to like maybe like a food truck or a business or something like that. That's awesome. What's your uh, What's your favorite dish that you make? Uh, I think honestly, I got mine in my wings head. for I sure. For me, it. it's just like a staple for football season. Like yeah, of course. Football season, I'm always making wings. Um, from there, I started doing uh, deep dish pizzas just because. Wow, like, I did not like, know. Yeah, deep dish pizza for me is like I love deep dish. Yeah, yeah, Fire. I bet you do. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. Uh, but uh, uh, but from there, yeah, dude. This like, guy, like, I, I hate it here. Yeah, like I said, bro. Like I think it's more. I'm in this thing where I just want to do different food. Yeah. Like, Something I've never done before, so I just yeah. look up videos and kind of try it out. One, the one that I like that I, I wish, um, I probably, I probably will request to have you make this. I'd, I'd, I'd pay money for this. You know what I'm saying? Okay. When you made that, um, like the Del Mar uh, Fairgrounds, oh, yeah, the with the, with the with teriyaki the, chicken, yeah, yeah. So the chicken inside, yeah. inside the, um, the, the pineapple, right? Yeah. Oh my god! Cause I actually had that there. It's just fire, it was huh? fire. Yeah, and so when good. I saw yours, I'm like, that looks exactly the yeah. same. And I was like, I need that. I need that yeah. again. I need that. Yeah. yeah, that looks fire. We're gonna make sure right here, 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 here. We're gonna take pictures from your Instagram and post all the food yeah. and stuff. Because that burger you posted with the onion rings, I told Josh I'm a big onion rings guy. He is. I see people fuck up onion rings all the time. Bet you are. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Yeah. What do you say? I said I bet you are. Oh. <laughs> I'm not taking any slander from a man who orders Honestly, flour yeah. tacos from Taco Bell. It was a challenge. It was a challenge. It wasn't a challenge. He made it a challenge. I that know, was, but that's his, his thing. His, he made it a his, challenge. His uncultured Caucasian tongue was going to go get the flour tacos regardless. It's flour country. I mean, whatever. It's a flour country? No, it's or country. <laughs> <laughs> or country. What are you going to say? I'm dance, sorry. Bro, okay. No, it's just like, you know, you're talking... Uh, We've all been to Mexican restaurants where, like, you know, you guys had a segment about it, and I loved it because it's true. Like, the less that you see there is the best. Like, you know, like, shitty napkins, a staple. Like, like it, thank it, you. It, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. You can see through that thing. Yeah, like, when you guys said that, I was dying because it's so true. So we've all been to Mexican restaurants where, like, it's garbage, but we go because it's, you know, you're hungry. And just, yeah, like, you know, it's convenient. I understand. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I, when I watch your page, bro, I like I get inspired because I see like shout out Xavier Barrett for Rev Body. Like I'm doing JP. Yeah, shout out Rev Body, yeah. Anybody that comes out of quarantine and they want to yeah. do a hobby or they want to create something on themselves, it's yeah. like so much respect. Like Zoa came to me for a young in the wash mm-hmm. and I just respect people that want to do the most out of you know what they what they enjoy. Yeah, like I said, like when I came back from Mexico, um I started a fitness brand and I had no idea, I have no fitness like background. I just, you know, <laughs> Uh, business background nothing right mm-hmm. so i obviously it's just something that just didn't pan out and mm-hmm. i was just like one of those things where you yeah. just kind of get over it but uh this one i was just like you know what i'm just gonna do it for fun it's not even for money i was mm-hmm. just gonna do something because i like it and it's been way more exciting way more fun because it's like now i'm like here on this podcast talking to you guys about it mm-hmm. you know it's yeah it's just a been a great experience so far and i think that will help you later in life because i hate when people are like oh Oh, failure is part of the process. Failure, yeah. that's a fucking lie. There are people who always win. There are people who always yeah, win. Yeah, I mean, but like, I do think it's like, um, failure is 
part of the process, but it's never something that you have to like um, come to grips with, or something you ever you never have to accept the failure, like yeah. or like, see it as a failure, maybe. No, like yeah, that that's like perception is everything, so that's a mm-hmm. valid point. But what I mean by that is like. Okay, yeah, that that could have been viewed as a failure to a certain mm-hmm. certain degree. But the thing is, though, it pushes you. Now you know when you go into the next thing, yeah. like how to go about this. It's not really a failure because if I gain experience, and we all like we've all like applied for jobs and say you need this much experience, but you can't get experience because mm-hmm. they're not hiring you because you don't have experience. Yeah. Then like it's something you can just put into other realms. Like yeah. like for example, this podcast, like my rap career was fucking garbage. Like you know what I mean? Like no two mixtapes in <laughs> god awful. Hey, two hundred at House of Blues though. But um. <laughs> Like, but that failed experience and like being on the microphone and talking to people and doing things like that are, is going to help with this whole yeah. situation. <laughs> I think it's just being true to yourself too. Like some people not only just start a business, but do shit and then they hate it or they pretend like they like it. Like mm-hmm. when I see people selling supplements, no comment. And they try to act like it's actually something really good for you. No. And I'm like, oh, time out, time out. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this because this is a whole thing. I love your no comment. I yeah. love it. no comment. <laughs> Luis is gonna give me in so much trouble because we're gonna beep out one of their names. Hey, look here, look here. If you're built like me, do not be fucking telling me what supplements. I don't give a Facts. fuck about your promo code. Facts. I don't give a fuck about what like sour strings you're selling. I don't. If you built like <laughs> Paul Pierce in a nightgown, I don't give a that fuck what you're that. doing, bro. That's a good one, yeah, Paul Pierce when he's going out his beard. Fuck. No, no, no. <laughs> hey. I don't think Paul Pierce is fat. He's out of shape. There's a difference. All I know is Paul Pierce. Arms. Garbage. 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 Good God. Hall of Fame. Garbage. But garbage. Top of the key. I'll I'll give it to him. Other than that, garbage. Oh, I can break Paul Pierce's ankles. Er, ankles. At I count Paul. Why does Paul Pierce somehow magically get brought up and? Every every other because episode, he, just he does it to himself, bro. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he does you know himself. what it's like? Because when those guys sell supplements and they're they're built like runny gravy that was made from powder, looking like a pulling guard on twenty eight fly. Yes, yeah. but not a good one, like one in game breaker mode. But <laughs> oh, that's what it's like. It's, that's no different. Than like, that's like no different than if like Paul Pierce came into like ESPN and had the audacity to judge D- Jalen Rose's Facts. haircut. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. don't talk to hey, the yeah. god. Speaking of True. the best lineup we've ever. 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 We'll, 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 we'll save that for the best lineups in the game. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, no, no, he's, it's, he's it's not, like we'll, we'll save that one. We'll Jalen save that Rose best is the Cartoon Network of lineups. Nothing yeah, but that, he. Yeah, that's crazy. From the moment he came back, he went from the baldy to it's, the. It's crazy, <laughs> but um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna transition to something else. But I do have one more final question that's gonna okay. help the transition. Does your girl eat your food? Does yeah. she think that she's gonna lose you <laughs> to a cooking chick? And mm. does she try to hide your food from other women? No, no, no. she's been super supportive. Like she'll that's repost good. my stuff and yeah, like she eats it. Like just like when I make food, I usually make it for my parents and my girl. Okay. And like when I was living at the boys' house with like Daniel Diaz and you know, the homies, Joe and the, the homies, GMC. Shout, shout, shout to GMC, yeah, shout, shout out to GMC, yeah, shout out yeah. GMC. Uh, uh, recipes, Gabe Gomez, recipes, by the way, recipes to the go. Um, but yeah, like we just, I just like to cook, and honestly, it's more just like uh, for me as a person, I like to cook to bring people more like together. Just yeah, but to say have together, like, a, like yeah, like a conversation, yeah. and just like eat together. Like I used to make Taco Tuesday and. Like all the homies would yeah. eat it and stuff, and we just like mess around at the house and shit. But uh, but yeah, man, like she eats it. My parents eat it. The ones that honestly, like my parents are super picky, bro. Like they are the pickiest eaters because they. Well, my mom knows how to cook, so of we'll take her to restaurants and stuff, and I'll be like, oh, shit, sorry. And I'm like, damn, this place is fire. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so when I make food and I and I don't see them react, I'm like, oh, I was all right, you know, I wasn't yeah. that good. But one time I made a deep dish, and my dad was like. Oh, that shit was good, and I was like, "All right, yeah, like you know what? It's not bad, yeah." So, all right, I have a, all right, one more question before we go to the next thing. What's the cooking equivalent to this? So, like, um, when I rapped, like something I would try to do is like, "All right, I'm just gonna put my song on, leave the room, see if they can about it." <laughs> yeah, I, I used to. Hey, hey, hey! I was rapping around the same time both of us could fit in the XL. But yeah, anyway, I can uh, still fit in the XL. I'm just saying. <laughs> Might look like I'm you shop at Baby Gap. That's about you it. Looking like a little snot. You, look, <laughs> you and an XO would look like a Dominican. I'm gonna let you know nah. right now. And you, <laughs> Damn. Those people but, can um, make, yeah. make any but jeans like, look oh, like they fit. <laughs> yeah. Back. If you if you don't know, tune in to uh, our XL spinoff, hoodies. the Body Shaving Podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, nah, but uh, like when I rap, like something I always thought was funny, or like like rap, I know other like people who rap did this. Like we put on a song, like one of our songs, like in the background, see if anyone fucking noticed. Or you have friends like Josh, who's like, I'm gonna play. Like Dunzo song right now, <laughs> super loud. Yeah. What's like the cookie equivalent? Like you just leave it on the table, like leave the rooms, and then you come back and see if like if your parents ate it all. I think or- it's I think it's like 
I'll make something and I'll leave it there like as like leftovers, kind of just see if like anyone eats it. And I'll come downstairs and if it's still there, I'm like, ah, shit, like no one fuck with it. But if it's gone, I'm like, all right, cool. You know, like I think that's kind of equivalent. Has anyone ever disrespected you with the plate upside down in the trash? (sighs) You know what I'm talking about? Honestly, yeah, it was in Mexico when I first started cooking. um, To me, I was making like a so-called teriyaki bowl. Super so garbage, called super garbage. I was using tapatio and shit at the time. Oh, yeah, we've come so, a long <laughs> way. Yeah, long well, way. Yeah, yeah, super bad. So I remember my cousin that I was living with before I was living on my own and shit. She was like, "Oh man, like that looks good." So she tried it, and I came back and it was like mostly still there in the trash. So I was like, "Oh yeah." For for those of the, uh, for those of us who don't know, if you ever make something that's considered grade A garbaggio. With someone who likes you and cares about you as a person, yeah. do is they'll take the plate and flip it, and, flip flip it. it yeah. and they're gonna push it as far, far down, down as possible. Oh no, straight disrespect. They were still there. I could see it. <laughs> and, like, it wasn't flipped at all. <laughs> I was trying yeah. to say, I was saying, can I do that technique too, though? Not just when I think it's trash, but also when I mm. uh, maybe I'll go back for seconds and maybe it actually is good, mm. but like I didn't, uh, I didn't eat as much of it, so I don't uh, want to make it look like I wasted trash. food. Yeah. So I'll do the flip because I'm like, oh, I can't let these people see that I just wasted yeah, this. this just you know food. exactly yeah. boom and so i'll do that one too yeah. so i get i'm mad at myself when i do that do you want to lead us into the little uh, i have one question though i have one question oh, i thought was right. a good question that we came up with just because i think it's a good question for everybody and everyone gets asked this if you could have one type of food and eat it for the rest of your life what would it really? be um you know the whole like you know because they always everyone gives a debate of like mexican food chinese food italian food are, like all those all those different types you are know we talking about like that or like a specific food like, no i want i want like, i want type i want like, like, mexican food? like yeah. yeah exactly oh, so Cause, so you have a wider range, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, I would definitely say Mexican food, honestly. Like, yeah, I, you know, born raised in it. Um, mm-hmm. I, w- I grew up in a very uh, seafood type family because my grand- my mom's dad was a fisherman, okay. so I was just raised on f- on fish. Yeah, and at one point I was like, the same it. I, I just can't eat fish. Yeah. But then growing up, I started realizing oh, I was pretty bomb like seafood, and yeah, I just think Mexican has a lot of like, to types offer. Of, yeah, a lot yeah. to offer. You know, so I I think I just stick with Mexican food. I agree. Italian, yeah. just Italian. Italian. But yeah. I fuck with Mexican food. We all yeah. Know. Who does that? Would be Mexican my second food? Italian. Food? I, I I go Mexican food because I feel you like go they, with any huh? They, <laughs> <laughs> He's a seafood guy. Yeah. Any food he sees, he eats. <laughs> yeah. Why are they grilling you today? You don't like it there? Hey, hey me. Hey, I don't hold like on. It here. Me, <laughs> you guys gotta understand. For those who don't know me, um, me and Zoe would be the ones going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for hours. And then if it wasn't me, it would be Gabe. Yeah, me and Gabe would go back and forth for this it. This is so. literally actually one of the least hostile conversations we've ever had. Yeah, exactly. Like, I like we, these look, slight comments. They're just beautiful. Yeah, yeah. You used to I'm, rap? I'm like, so <laughs> back because like I'm trying to like be professional and host yeah. this, and I'm just getting like the little sharp darts. Yeah, but it's, it's all, all good. good. It's all love. Hey, it's exactly. all good. It's you all know, love. My man over here built like a torta, but it's all good. We nah. ain't gonna, you know, hey, I'd rather be built like a torta than a futon. So all or or a sack of potatoes, whichever one. You know why? Hey, you know I'm a futon though. Why? Don't pull out. That's oh, right. damn. Double meaning. Double meaning. Yeah, I like that. Come on. But um, I, I go Mexican food, and I, I think Mexican food, honestly, because in uh, no slight, but I feel like they do the most with the same, like, five or six ingredients. Mm-hmm. It's like some type of vegetable, some type of meat, tortilla nice. in any type of fashion, yeah. and then it's, yeah. do whatever the fuck you're going to do with it. But it's like, th- I mean, all, all, obviously a lot of foods are like three main parts for the yeah. most part, but it's like, like a burrito and a taco are almost the same thing. One just has a sunroof. You know what yeah. I mean, and it's like, but it's but, so different. Yeah. Did you just cast this on the roof, or are you just? That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, but the piggyback off Travis is before we transition. Um, what is your favorite thing to cook though? Then, um, for sure, burgers. Like yes. growing up, your burgers look fire. Okay, burgers hold on. Man of the people. Do you guys? <laughs> do you guys remember back when we were kids, like EBA and JB, when we would have trophy ceremonies? Where would it be? Fuddruckers. Yes. Yeah. Fuddruckers. Fud you know how I feel about Fuddruckers. Yeah. Josh loves Fud Ruckers. Look at his energy. Just look, energy. Just look at his energy as it right now. He's so, the up. When I, I made the burger pick and I tagged Fuddruckers, they liked the picture. And I honestly felt like I succeeded in life. They saw my picture. I was like, Fuddruckers was literally like, hands down, one of the best burgers and experiences from like arcades. You know, being with the homies, getting your trophy ceremony and stuff. So and the milkshake when they get the milkshake, yeah, they give you the, the they cookie. give you the they give you the um the thing on the side. That's how you know if it's a good milkshake place or not. When they oh, give you the, the, extra, yeah, the extra, they give yeah, you the extra and the facts, silver and the silver facts. cup thing. Yeah, that's when that's when you know it's right. Facts. 